The question is, what does it make? What? Yes, and I mean, look, not far. Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holder and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at a dyno session we did with a 427 LS7 based motor. One of the viewers, we're going to call him Bob, was nice enough to run his motor down at West Tech. So I told him, hey, I'm going to jump down there and do a video. Bob is the guy that loaned me the carbureted GM Gen 2 LT1 intake manifold for all the testing. Got a bunch of videos up there. You guys can check that out. Thanks, Bob. He's got a 427 LS7 base motor. So I'm like, hey, let's go down to West Tech and see what it does. Okay, guys, let's talk about our test motor. It is 427 cubic inches. It is an LS7 based crate motor from GM. It's rated at 570 horsepower, but as we'll see, it actually made a good bit more than that on our testing. So 427 inches. It is a 4125 bore aluminum LS7 block. It has a four inch stroke crank in it. The crank is a forged steel crank. It also has forged titanium connecting rods, which are awesome, hypertectic pistons, it has a hydraulic roller camshaft that is a 591-590 lift split, a 227-242 degree duration split, and a 116 degree lobe separation angle. It has CNC ported LS style 7 cylinder heads, or LS 7 style heads, uh, matching LS 7 factory intake manifold and drive-by wire throttle body. It has a uh, 2.2 inch titanium intake valves and 1610 sodium filled exhaust valves. So it's got good stuff in it. It's got, you know, the factory offset LS7 rocker arms. We're running it on premium fuel. Obviously, the whole thing is balanced. We ran it with inch and seven eighths dyno headers on it. We ran it with the Holly um, HP management system and got the thing all tiled, uh, dialed in. Eric at West Tech obviously did all that test. We've got the drive by wire throttle body. We did have the knock sensors hooked up. So everything worked fairly well. So let's pop this thing on the dyno and see what it does.
yes. And I mean, look, not far off. Dude, that I mean, is. I, I kind of suck still. But that's like one I mean, or one or two good. changes or whatever. That's yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. But I, I was able to start with a pretty good base. So that was. Uh, it, it, you know what? It is thing. all about that base. It is all about that base. <laughs> so. Uh, so we had no knock retard, which is good. No, no, no. Targeting 13 to 1. So it'll run on 9 to 1. Okay hey guys, here's what often happens when we're dyno testing. This crate motor, the LS7 based crate motor from GM, ran flawlessly and it worked great. We had drive-by-wire throttle body, we had the knock sensors hooked up, we were running it on 91 octane and it worked flawlessly. But when we're getting our peak power numbers at 6300 RPM, 609.7 horsepower. So we just could not leave that alone. It had to make 610, so what we did was we left for the night came back the next morning and over the night time figured hey what can we try to push this thing to 610 horsepower and we thought hey let's do a radius air entry or we'll run it the next morning and see what happens okay last time we were stuck with a 609 number 6097 naturally we wanted 610 so what we did put the radius air horn on there our light Nice. We're using air entry on the throttle body. Stock L7 intake manifold. So what do you say? What do you think? Is it going to make any more power? Okay, we're back at it this morning. Eric's throwing the tune on it. We've got a fancy radius air entry. You know, because when you're at 609.7 horsepower, the only thing that you have to have is 610 horsepower. Okay, here's what we got going on. We first came in, we were looking for a 610 number. Then, we managed to get that. Now it's giving us this. 611.9. And this is how this works. You reach your goal and then go, oh well, it's a 611.9, we want a 612. So we're gonna see if we can push it just a little bit to get that 612 number. Not that it makes any difference. 611.9, 612, that's really the same thing. But hey, we're here. We're running it. This thing's running great. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we're prepped for a hero run. We brought the water temperature down. It's got oil, lots of oil temperature in it. And here we go. Yeah, she does.
Okay guys, here are a few things to think about if we wanted to make even more power from a crate motor like this. First thing I'd change, maybe more camshaft, although you would hurt idle quality and drivability. If you went to something like the LS3 Stage 4 cam from Brian Tweed Racing or a dedicated LS7 cam, definitely make more power. Maybe an MSD intake manifold to replace the factory LS7. It's already got lots of head flow, lots of displacement, and lots of compression, but there are lots of ways to make even more power armature holder. Please make sure, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff, and I'll keep testing.